If one game has been the bane of my existence on this channel, it is WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch. When this game was announced for the Nintendo Switch, I was excited. I've been playing the WWE games for years, and while they may have dipped in quality, some are better than others, I still appreciate a decent wrestling game. And the fact that I could take a console wrestling experience on the go was very appeasing to me. It was very appealing to me because I used to play the PSP games and I actually really enjoyed them. It was fun to be able to play a wrestling game on the go, and it seemed like this would be a perfect fit. 2K did an excellent job with NBA 2K18, so why wouldn't this game be good as well, I thought to myself. We all know what happened with that. I had Stevie Richards on the channel. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. Yes, that's where that clip comes from. He was a part of my WWE 2K18 review, and we looked at this game, and it was bad. Oh my God, it's so bad. What is going on? It was bad. There was nothing good about it. It was terrible. It's the worst game I've ever played on the Nintendo Switch. Worse than Troll and I. Worse than Broom Night in the Sky. But I thought to myself, you know what? That maybe it just got rushed. Maybe there'll be a patch or something. And we actually got a patch and it fixed nothing. But then there were some interesting developments with this game. Blind Squirrel, the developer of this game, actually removed all mentions of it from its website. They just stopped talking about it on social media. They even deleted tweets involving WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch which, eh, you know, kind of made me mad. I started that whole WWE 2K18 Switch refund movement hashtag that we still are going strong with because people need to know about this game. But this morning, this morning, this morning, I, I felt like, I, like a Twilight Zone or like Groundhog Day. I woke up and there was a bunch of messages in my inbox and the Patreon chat was buzzing and I popped in the Patreon chat and I said, Sean, there's a new patch for WWE 2K18. It's out on the Switch. And I'm like, Okay, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, like you gotta have some sort of problem. You gotta have some sort of mental illness that you just go undiagnosed with and you go throughout life just creating crappy games. But I thought to myself, you know what, you know what, you know what? Blind Squirrel's not involved anymore. They didn't know what the hell they were doing. Now 2K must be involved with this game. 2K is the one doing the patch. There must be a chance that it is good. So I decided to check it out, not for myself, but for you, for maybe someone who does not have WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch. They see it on sale on the eShop. Maybe a little kid, a John Cena fan. You can't see him, his time is now. And while he might not have good taste in wrestlers, he deserves to have good taste in video games at least. And I don't want a father picking up this game for his son or a mother picking up this game for their daughter and then being subjected to this. So maybe this patch fixed everything. Maybe this is the patch that we've been waiting for. Maybe this is the patch that will bring this game to competence. So I decided to download it, and now I'm making a video on it. And judging by the thumbnail and the title of this video, you pretty much know how this is gonna go. So let's take a look at the WWE 2K18 latest Switch patch. Hey, RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards! So I decided to recreate a WrestleMania match that is coming up this WrestleMania. Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor versus The Miz, which is an Intercontinental Championship matchup. And I thought to myself, you know, this will be a good indication. A nice three-way match. You know, one-on-one -on -one matches were somewhat playable the whole time. They were pretty crappy, honestly, but they were at least somewhat playable. Anything above that was just gnarled, disgusting messes. And I chose my character playing as Seth Rollins, and I noticed something. An improvement. Yes, the load times are slightly better. And I was like, okay, okay, we're off to a good start. You know, it's not two minutes to load a match now. Now it's like less than one. So that's an improvement. That sort of gave me hope. That sort of gave me some sort of false sense of security, like a security blanket. But then you realize when you wake up, it wasn't your security blanket. It was just a random blanket. And you're not even in your own bed. You're in a hotel 500 miles away from your house. I don't even know where I'm going with this reference, but let's look at Finn Balor's intro. Ah, uh, you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race. I like how he does his little arm things, and because of, of course this is a WWE game, so they will 
quickly copyright strike any sort of audio of theirs. But let me just tell you, when he does a little arm pose, okay, it's not in sync with the music at all, like it's supposed to be. And none of the entrances are. All the entrances are still slow and just disgusting. And it's like, am I high while I'm watching this? Like, why is everything so slow? And it doesn't make sense. It's like, it's like an intro. It's an intro to the match. It's one of the first things you see in the game. How do you not notice that this is completely broken? Here comes Seth Rollins with his all black belt. I guess that's supposed to be the undisputed title, but everything is just blacked out. Nice to see they haven't fixed that. I've complained about that before, and I will complain about that again. And of course, we get into the actual match. And I, it, uh, <laughs> like, it is maybe like 1% better maybe 1% better. It is still choppy. It is still slow. It is still plagued with issues. And it still is disgusting. There's just so many problems. You know what? Harking back to the entrances, look at Finn Balor's jacket. That is the most PS2 looking jacket I have ever seen in my life. It's like there's not many textures going on right now. I don't understand why this game runs so poorly. Everything about it is poor, 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 Poor. And I, I, I don't get it because 2K knows how to make a competent uh, video game on the Nintendo Switch. NBA 2K18 is light years better than this game. So I was very annoyed and I was very aggravated. I did not finish the match. I played maybe two, three minutes and I was like, okay, let's do another test. Six man hell in a cell. Now, if you know anything about the six man hell in a cell match on the Nintendo Switch version of this game, this was beyond broken. Like it was like two frames a second and it was choppy and it was just disgusting. So I picked some random characters. I picked Kevin Owens. And once again, the load times were pretty decent. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. Maybe this is what they focused on. Maybe they wanted to fix the six man matches. And they didn't. They, 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 they didn't. They're still crap. They're still slow as hell. Look at how these moves are executed. Like, have you ever seen these moves done slow, so slowly? Like the little float over DDT that Kevin Owens does? It's just, it's crap. It's crap. It's like four frames a second. Like imagine watching a wrestling match where you saw a wrestler move this slow and you would be like, what's this guy on? Did he just, you know, drink a pint of lean before he came out here? This is like Jeff Hardy levels of, you know, when Jeff Hardy fought Sting in TNA and he was all drugged up and Sting had to do the quick pinfall on him. Like, this is just madness. This is absolute madness that they did not fix anything within the game. And I thought to myself, okay, there's one more test. There's one more thing we have to look at and then we will decipher whether this patch did anything or not. And that is, of course, the backstage brawl. If you've been following my WWE 2K18 footage, you would know that the backstage brawl is the most disgusting thing in the absolute world. Like, it, it shouldn't be in a video game because it's so choppy and so broken. So I picked old Triple H to go up against the big show, and after a decent low time, the low time wasn't bad, uh, we got into the match, and I did my little test where the big show is in one room, and Triple H is in another room, and he's running down the hallway, and broken mess. Broken mess, five frames per second, maybe even less. Like, I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why you even did this patch. Like you, you slightly, you slightly fixed the load times with this patch. That's literally all you did because everything else is still a disgusting, broken mess. The game itself is damn near unplayable still, but you increase, you improve the load times. So it's like, you know, there's issues with the game. You know that there's problems with the game. You've seen it on social media. You've seen it in every review of WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch. But for some reason, you decided to prioritize load times over actual gameplay. Load times over actual actually being able to play the game. The WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch is like that girl that you've dated like three or four times. And every time she talks to you, she's like, oh, don't worry, babe, I'm clean now. I'm totally off the drugs. And then she stays the night at your house and you wake up and she's crushing up a Percocet and snorting it the next morning. She's like, oh, babe, it's just a one-time thing. It's like, you lied to me. Return of the Mac, that's the best song ever. But it's, it's just crazy. It's just absolute craziness how this game still remains a broken, unplayable mess, just with slightly better load times. That's what you focused on. That was the whole reason for this patch, was to slightly improve load times. 
2K, this is unacceptable. I will tweet this video to you and I will make sure others tweet it to you because this is the third patch of the game and still unplayable game. At least with Rhyme, they fixed it somewhat. You know, they made it actually playable. Sure, it still has issues, but they tried. And that's a small company. 2K, you are a large company. You are a massive company. You are a spearhead in the video game industry. And you just took a dump on every person who picked up WWE 2K18 for the Nintendo Switch. You need to pull this game from shelves. You need to take this game off the eShop because all you're doing is ruining your image. There is no way in hell, no chance, no chance in hell, Vince McMahon's theme song, that I will ever, ever purchase 2K19 on the Nintendo Switch because you've just ruined it for me. You've ruined and crushed any sort of feeling I have towards your games when it comes to the WWE license because I can't trust you. And if I can't trust you, there's no way I can give you money. So does the WWE 2K18 patch that came out today fix anything on the Nintendo Switch? fixes the load times. So if load times were your biggest issue with the game, if for some reason you had no problem with any other facet of the game, then this is the patch for you. For every other normal person out there, this game should be banned, barred to hell, and burned alive, burned at the stake, crucified to the cross, and I'm disgusted with it. Thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts of WWE 2K18 in the comment section down below. If you really like my face, check out all the links in the description box down below. We got Patreon, T-Search, social media, all sorts of fun stuff. Keep up to date in the world of RGT85. I'm going to go delete WWE 2K18 off of my Switch now. Later. Take